surface of the Earth is the shore of the cosmic ocean. Because the cosmos is also within us, we're made of star stuff. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Today we're making planets. I used these materials to get were what was lying around. I think it's important when you make yours to use what's around the house, utilizing things that are familiar with you. It's also important that you use materials that are close to you, which you have an emotional connection. Hey, what's up, fellas? Donnie, come on. First, I need a planet core. Oh, it's frozen solid. Okay, so this will be our inner core. We could uh, sculpt it, carve it into more of a sphere to get it going. But it's got all this interesting shit <laughs> going on. And it's, it's rock solid. I think this will make a very sturdy planet. gonna call this good enough for government work because because I'm done I'm done getting sprayed with this getting sprayed with this stuff let's get this wrapped up into a planet this is only this is one of five layers all right we got her on the bench the temperature in the shop right now is a cool 30 degrees Fahrenheit so I don't think we'll have any problem with this thing thawing out let me just a speed knoll here okay so we got the core the inner core we got the outer core we got the mantle and there are levels of the mantle but we're gonna just ball them all up into one and we got the crust and then which is itty itty bitty thin and then even itty bitty thinner we got the atmosphere so a planet is built kind of like this baseball that uh, Dondi manipulated for the sake of this demonstration. You know, seeing as our foundation is just <laughs> pure shit, I figure we might as well go ahead and use all organic materials, uh, compostable materials for the rest of this sculpture. And sometime down the line, I could just give it back to Mother Earth Gaia, toss it in the garden. I'm gonna get the party started with banana peels for the Dondi. Come on, Dondi, come join in. Help me figure this out. Make a banana peel kind of coat, you know, a shell around this thing. The banana peels are pretty wet, you know, I've been collecting these for a few weeks, uh, but they're not sticky, <laughs> they're just wet. So now we have inner core and outer core. All right, we need a mantle to really fold this thing together. I, I've got all these beauty magazines uh, over here that we use for kindling sometime. Let's see which... Oh, we could use the cartoon one, because this is art. This isn't, uh, I don't have to censor this. Oh, I remember this one, all Amazon. 
Yeah, she's got a dick. Oh man, I picked this up on West 4th forever ago. Oh, I wanna make porridge. That's so greasy. Story and art by the great Chris Shapes. She muscle. Man, that's cool. I want that up on my wall. Pull from the middle and then you get them legal size, you know? Tighten it up. <laughs> it says squeeze. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How's that for a nugget? <laughs> All right, now that we have that structural mantle for the crust, I'm gonna use some sheep's wool I got here, which is nice and lovely and soft. around maybe I can tuck it now to hold the whole thing together I just want to make an atmosphere really quick I'm thinking uh, just some old-fashioned hemp rope for the atmosphere look I opened up the string drawer and found a little mouse nest in there no babies let's uh let's throw this in there I think I could just tie this whole thing together instead of using tape. Just tying that to that. Yes. Oh, this is fucking knots, am I right? <laughs> ah, there. Woo! Can it do what? <laughs> Make sure your planet can do what? Make it that you can do this with confidence. Have confidence doing this. It's not gonna break. You should have confidence doing this. That's a good feeling looking planet. I'm rather proud of this. She weighs in. What the hell is that? Ooh, a cool three pounds, eight ounces. She's a little light, but I think that'll be okay. Feels good in the hand. It's got its components. It's got the inner core, outer core, mantle, crust, atmosphere. So is it a finished sculpture? It's, it's so hard to know when to quit. One may say that this is a, a nice object, you know, that this has some, some rawness or some vibe. To me, it's got kind of like some 1970s vibes. And, uh, and even though it's beautiful and kind of like pure in a sense as it's raw materials right now, it's 2021. We're gonna risk one more gesture, possibly ruining it. It's such a fine line between like the sublime and the overwrought. It... I'm gonna paint it orange, let's go. Orange is the color of safety or Moreover, orange is the color of life, or at least living life. Or at least it's the color that signifies living life to humans.
Orange is the color of our dog Dondi's collar that we know in shoots around the woods. All right, I'm naming this planet sculpture Columbidae, the Latin word for pigeon. You know, the name, all names, Columbia, Columbus, is a thousand year old surname that originally meant pigeon keeper or keeper of doves. Spelled like this, that's a scientific name, Columbidae. I think in America, in American English, we'll be pronouncing it Columbidae. That's how you say that on this side of the pond. Columbidae, planet Columbidae. Three pounds, point. <laughs> I can't keep a straight face. Look at Dondi over there eating the pigeon shit dust. Dondi, get out of the pigeon shit. Dondi, Dondi, come on, come on, come on. Hey, baby, come here, come here. Rawr. What are you doing? You exploring the planet? You exploring the planet, Princess Dondi? Okay. And the shoes continue to hold up well. Let's go, let's go back inside, come on.